Latavius Murray joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Latavius? I'm doing good, Rich. How you doing? How openly are you talking about playing the Super Bowl in your own building? Um, honestly, we 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 know that it's never been done before. Um, I think if you look at going into this off season and everything like that, that was one of the things you know we we looked at and was like, man, how cool how cool would that be? Um, uh, but of course, in the off season, you know, it's it's so far away. It's so much more that needs to be done. You know, at that point, and then now here we are. Um, in the in the you know in the the heat of it, um, but knowing now, more importantly, it's about taking care of each week. Um, and so you know, again, we, we, we feel that that that's so far away right now. Um, when you just talk about each each week, we have to kind of battle to get to that point. Yes, and you've got a game against the Green Bay Packers team that may or may not be eliminated by the time that you take the field with them, um, yep. and that is directly in front of you. But in terms of the the journey here, um, how is Mike Zimmer approaching? Uh, the possibility of what obviously is staring everybody in the face right now. Um, well, I think Coach has don't you know kept us in check. I think uh, he's kept us focused on you know really the, what the first goal was, and you know that's been any you know I, when I was my f- four years in Oakland and and here um, winning the div- division championship is is you know that's that's the first goal um, that a team has and. Um, and it's been my first, uh, you know, that we clinched yesterday. So, you know, to, to take care of that, um, you know, is a start, you know, to get into the tournament. Um, and then now now it's about seeding and, and all those things to try and, again, set yourself up to be able to play for, um, you know, play in front of this home crowd for sure. Latavius Murray joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. And from your position, from how you have seen it, how has Case Keenum handled taking the reins of this job and with Teddy Bridgewater returning and everybody uh, certainly in the national media, supposing it was just going to be his job eventually. How has he handled all of this? He's been handling it well. I think, um, you know, I think Teddy, Teddy is a pro and uh, you know, I know obviously he wants to, you know, he wants to be back on the field. It's been so long for him. And so I think that's why yesterday it was such an emotional uh, moment. Um, And I think everybody knew that from case to, you know, everyone. And so, but but Teddy's been handling it well. You know, Chase, Case has been playing really good, and uh, and so you know I think Teddy has just been patient, just been you know getting better, getting back into it. You know, being out there in practice again, it's been uh, over a year, so um, you know Teddy has had the right uh, attitude uh, that a pro would have. And what do you say to those that say, "Yeah, this is a nice story." That's what's happening in Minnesota, because <laughs> you know that what that's infused with. The, yeah, with yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, man, we uh, like we can't get caught up into whether they believe in us or not. Um, who believes in us? Um, what matters is in that locker room. At the end of the day, you know, regardless, because uh, win or lose, you know, that that those are the people you got to you know turn to. Um, you know, when it comes down to that, and so uh, I think we we've, we've done a good job of that this year. Um, with people going down and uh, people needing to step up. Um, and us still finding ways to win and come together as a team. And so um, that's, what's, that's what's most important, and it still will be going forward. Latavius Murray joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's talk about your journey, your path. Why did you and Oakland uh, part ways from your perspective? Um, I mean, to be honest, I, you know, I, I couldn't tell you if it was uh, you know, money. I couldn't tell you if uh, whether or not they felt I was, you know the guy going forward. Um, I, I I don't know. Um, you know the conversation really never came to that. Once I had the opportunity to um, hit the market, um, you know at that point it was about what was best for me. And so uh, and so you know I, I found a great place here in Minnesota. Well, in terms of that, do you think that they they had any inkling that maybe Marshawn Lynch was thinking of coming back? Do you think that that was in the ether when you and they were talking to each other? I'm not sure, honestly. I I wouldn't know. Um, you know, and if so, I, you know, it wasn't wasn't communicate with me. But I, I I'm not sure at all. Um, I guess at that point, I really didn't. I really didn't care. Um, I had I just cared that I was in a a good situation that I could you know have an opportunity to, you know, better myself, better my family, um, and, and play and win uh, at the end of the day. Um, we were winning in Oakland, but, um, I mean, you, you look at the season we're having right now, it's been special. Um, 
and we're winning. So, and then one last one, because I know it's not your team anymore, okay? And I know you're focused on your current team, so I have to infuse my my uh, my question with that caveat. <laughs> but w- what do you think is uh, is wrong with the Raiders' offense this year, Latavius? Uh, I mean, you you know what it looks like when it's humming. You were part uh-huh. of that last year. What do you think ills that offense this year? You know, I, I I'm not sure. I, honestly, I you know being there last year, and you know we just. I, I, you know, I just thought we, we just had to go and finding ways to win. And, you know, again, I think our offense, you know, the offense was on fire. Um, and so I think right now maybe that, just to find that identity on offense, uh, it maybe possibly. Um, I, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I know they have, you know, all the weapons um, for sure. And so, um, and, 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 and those guys are, you know, close friends of mine, good friends of mine from, for years. And so, um, you know, I hope they, you know, figure it out. And um, yeah, I definitely wish them nothing but success. Yeah, because I, 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 you know, I mean, look, I, I, I saw from you, Latavius, okay, I saw when you got out there in 2014 for a couple of cups of coffee, uh, I could see that you had some ability. I even picked you up in fantasy and still kicking myself to that day that I didn't have the cojones to start you that night that you torched the Chiefs <laughs> yeah. on that Thursday night um, on NFL Network. Um, and now you're – say, say that again. I think a lot of people kicked themselves that night. I mean, man, you just, just – I mean, it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Although UCF isn't nowhere anymore – Absolutely. There in, we go. In honor, in all honesty here, okay. I mean, seriously, because yeah. I, I, you yeah. know, I, I'm, I, I'm blinded by amazing blue blinders when I talk about my alma mater. Mm-hmm. If we put Central Florida in an mm-hmm. eight-team playoff and mm-hmm. sent them to Clemson in mm-hmm. a first-round game, what mm-hmm. would happen, Latavius Murray? You know, I'm, I'm and like you say, you, sometimes you get the blinders on, but. Um, what I will say, it will come down to defense and who can stop who. Um, we have the number one scoring offense in the country. Um, and so, you know, and I, and, and I know Clemson's defense is, is, is really, really good. Um, so I think it will come down really to who can stop who. I, I'm I'm going to have to say UCF just because that's, those are my boys. Um, and, and, and I think this season has been special. I think it's going to finish special. Um you know, I, Frost. You know, he he came in and did some tremendous things for this program, and um, and and I just want to wish him the best of luck. Yeah, now he's going back to uh, Nebraska. So you really think yeah. UCF wins and advances in Clemson, Latavius Martin? Really? I do. I believe that. Okay. And I these gri- that. these Griffin brothers are no joke, right? You know, one is lock, locking things down in in uh, in Seattle right now in the in the yep. secondary, and. Yeah, they're- you know, Shakem, what he's doing right now. Uh, do you know him? Do you know these kids? I do. I do personally. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, he's special. I think. You know, I think when you and he can play. You know, I think a lot of people look look at his, uh, you know, his situation and what he's playing. You know, with. Um, but he's he's a football player and he's a special player. And I think a lot of times you people may get sidetracked from that. Um, but he's a special player. His brother is a special player. Um, and I think I think he's going to do uh, good things at the next level. Yeah, I can't wait to see him at the combine this year and beyond. Last yep. one for you is my my compadre uh, Chris Brockman is a Syracuse Orangeman or yep. a Syracuse Orange. Do you want to yep. do you want to ask him what the obvious question here is? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I know you, I, I see you got the three one five phone number. I, yeah. I saw you at the Final Four a couple of years ago. What is yep. it going to take for the Orange to get a turnaround up there? Uh, did you watch the game the other night or the other day? The basketball game, yeah, but I'm talking yeah, about yeah. football with Tavis. Oh, football! Oh, my bad. Well, um, I thought the obvious question would be why? Why don't you go there? <laughs> um, I, well, I, I'll answer both. So, I, mean, I grew up grew up Syracuse fan. I mean, you know, Marvin Harrison, Donovan McNabb. I mean, you know, it's, I grew up watching those guys, and so um, I'm, you know, cute at heart for sure. But when when as I got older and I realized, man, I had to get away. I had to, you know, I had to kind of start from fresh, um, get away from my familiar surroundings, um, you know, and go into a new situation. And it was a great decision for me. You know, I can't lie. I grew up, I matured. Um, it was really what I needed. But I, I always had that love for Cuse. Now, 
what they need to turn the program around. I, you know, I just it's I think it's really tough. Um, you know, recruiting, you know, especially in the north. Um, and you know, they haven't had, you know, the the seasons that Q, you know, tradition has had, you know, in the past. And so I think. I think that's the toughest thing, man. It's getting people to believe, getting people to want to be a part of that tradition um, in the past, um, and getting guys to come out. Um, I think that's what it's going to take. Last one for you, Latavius Murray. The toughest defense you've seen and faced this year is the toughest. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to have to say Carolina. Uh, Forced us to turn the ball over a few times. Stingy. Um, I know I didn't do squat, uh, so. Uh, you know, I give it to him. I have to give it to him for sure. Latavius, thanks for the time. We'll chat with you down the road, okay? Rich, thank you, man. You bet. That's Latavius Murray, at Latavius M on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.